And they sung a new song Saying thou art worthy To take the book And to open the seals Oh, to open the seals thereof For thou wast slain And hath redeemed Hath redeemed us to God By thy blood by thy blood, out of every kindred and tongue. By thy blood, by thy blood, and people and nations. Amen. This is Martin Millett. Good morning. This is Martin Millett coming to you from Bucharest, Romania. And I'm talking to you today about the covenant that the Lord made with his precious blood for us. You know, Abraham made a covenant for, with Abraham. God made a covenant with Abraham, and he brought him out of the Ur of the Chaldees. And then the Bible said when the children of Israel were crying out and groaning up to God, their groans went up. God said he's heard their groaning, and he remembered the covenant that he made with Abraham. Now, what kind of covenant was it? And what does the word covenant mean? And this is very important, because when he held his blood up at the Lord's Supper with that cup, and he took that bread and he broke it. It means more than you know and more than I know. We can never study and get to the bottom of exactly what all that he was trying to tell us. It was a type of the Old Testament, the shadow of that which is to come forth in the New Testament. You remember when Jesus told him in Luke chapter 22, verse 15, he said, I desire to eat this supper with you. And he says, uh, and he told him, he said, take the cup and drink. This is my blood, the New Testament. And he broke the bread and he said, this is my body, take and eat it. Now, at the Lord's Supper, it's a type of the Passover, which the Lord took, or which the, the children of Israel took, and the, in Egypt, I mean, in, yeah, in Egypt, when they were down in Egypt, in Exodus chapter 12. And you remember he told them, he said, take the blood and apply it. But that's not all he said. He said, eat the lamb. They had to eat all the lamb. And then they left. And for 40 years, they traveled without anybody being sick, diseased, or dying, or weak. And that brings us to the Lord's table, or the Lord's supper, where Jesus says, I have a desire to take the Passover with you, or the Lord's supper, as he gave it to Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And you remember, I told you, my wife asked me this question. She said, Martin, how come so many of God's people are sick and weak and sick, and they die, it seems like, before they ever get very old? Why are they always sick? I can understand the devil's children, but why God's people? And I told her, for this one reason, this is what God said, listen to it. For this cause, not many causes, one cause, there are many weak, sickly among you, and many sleep. And if you go back, the reason was, in this context, as they did not discern the Lord's body. That's what he said in verse 29. To himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Now, the Bible says here that, uh, in verse 27 of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink the cup of the Lord's Lord unworthily. And I was reading it in Romanian. It says, in unworthy manner. And I looked it up in other, uh, other versions, and that's exactly what it means. It means not taking a person who's unworthy. Now, I'm not saying you can take the Lord's Supper and have sin in your life. But listen to me. It's not God's... It's not the nature of a child of God to live in sin. That's not your nature. If you're born again, you have a divine nature according to first, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. And it's not normal for a child of God to live in sin unless a preacher keeps telling them that they're just an old sinner and they can't help it and keeps their mind loaded up with condemnation. But when you find out that he's made you righteous and you have the righteousness of God in you, then you don't want to live in sin. You don't desire to live in sin. If I come up here and said, hey, you want to smoke a joint or you want to drink some whiskey or you want to do something... And you say, well, I don't really think, I don't really like that stuff. The reason you don't like it, it's got a different nature, amen? And that's the nature God's given you. I'm not just an old sinner. And I don't have dogs living in me, whether it's white dog or black dog, amen? When I was received Jesus Christ as my Lord, he baptized me into his body, amen? The Bible says I was crucified with Christ and risen with him, and now I have his likeness. Are you listening? And he quickened me in my spirit and made me alive and gave me a divine nature. Now, 
how to apply the Lord's Supper. I'm going to bring this to you tomorrow or Monday uh, when we come back with you on the uh, Romania mission on about the, talking about the Lord's Supper and the healing and the wholeness that we have in the Lord's Supper. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen.